So if you've entered the mountain biome in Valheim, you'll notice that you start to freeze and take damage. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can prevent that from happening, as there are a few different options. So the first thing we need to talk about today is actually campfires. Now, I don't really like recommend this, but what it will do is it will stop you from freezing. You see it here, it will feel cold, but we won't freeze. Now, if you go away from the campfire, you will start freezing again. So that means that in order to like travel through the biome like this, you would have to like keep making like a line of them, right? And keep placing them down. Now, obviously, eventually they will burn out. So this is never a permanent solution and also if it starts to snow heavily it's the same thing as like rain in the rest of Valheim then the fires will go out but just for the sake of completion I thought I should mention that this is a potential way if you're just popping in to get something quickly early game so from the worst method we're now going to go straight to the best possible method and that is this right here the wolf fur cape so when we put that on uh, this is a permanent solution we can now spend an infinite amount of time in the mountain biome without getting the freezing effect this will also keep you warm at night now this here does however require four silver and to get the silver you have to go to a mountain biome right so it's a bit of a catch 22 but we're going to come on to how you get silver before you have the wolf fur cape in just a second now you'll also need six wolf pelt and one wolf trophy farming wolves is easy enough to do and i do have a tutorial on that which i'll link in the pinned comments uh, just to say you'll also require a level two workbench in order to craft this and the recipe for the wolf cape will be unlocked once you have silver ingots so in order to find silver what you'll need is one of these things right here this is a wishbone now you get this from defeating bone mass and in the pinned comments i will have a video linked there to show you how to defeat bone mass you'll also need an iron pickaxe in order to mine the silver again there's a video in the pinned comments on how to get iron but the final thing that you'll need to take with you is this frost resistance mead right here so each one of these that you drink will give you 10 minutes of resistance to the freezing effect now how do you make one of these well what you'll need to do is go ahead and make yourself up a cauldron and inside the cauldron the frost resistance mead is right here so in order to make this you'll need 10 honey five thistles two blood bags and a gray dwarf fire honey could be farmed there is a tutorial on how to farm honey in the pinned comments thistles you'll find in black forest the blood bags you'll get from killing leeches in swamps again a video in the pinned comments on how to do that and how to survive the swamps and gray dwarf fires you'll just have tons of anyway so once you've made up that mead what you're going to do is go over to your fermenter and put it into the fermenter and then wait a couple of in-game days and then you can come and pick it up you see there we go we got a load of res resistance mead there and you'll get six per batch which will last for an hour that'll be plenty of time for you to explore your mountain biome and find yourself some silver so let's go look at how we do that so once you have your wishbone you want to go ahead and right click it to equip it it will say equipping wishbone and then it will say you can sense hidden objects and you'll see in the top right of the screen that the wishbone effect is active uh, make sure you eat all your food before you go off into the mountain take with you a good a set of uh, armor and take like a decent bow and arrows and stuff like that uh, and also like a good uh, shield and weapon the, the you know there's gonna be a lot of mobs up in here right that we're gonna sort of come to and I'm going to be doing a full mountain guide soon, but uh, just for today, just want to mention that. And what you want to do now is basically just run around until you see the wishbone starts to ping. So I'm going to do that right now. And once it starts to ping, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and what to look for. And then what we do in order to mine it at that point. Oh, and I started to freeze because I forgot. You need to also do your frost resistance mead. I'm kind of used to having the wolf cape now, <laughs> so I forgot that. But of course, bring your frost resistance mead and make sure that you drink that as well to stop yourself from freezing. It's also not a terrible idea to activate your Ike ability. Stamina is quite important and also being well rested is never a bad thing either so just some other things there to consider okay so as you can see here i'm getting these little pings coming up on screen they make a visual and they also make an audio little noise as well and right now they're slow but if i start heading over this way they're going to start getting faster as you can see here and eventually they'll get very fast at that point you know you're just about right on top of it so round about here that faster snow went a bit slower so round about here this is gonna be perfect so at that point you want to go ahead grab your pickaxe and just start digging down until you find yourself some silver and there we go guys you can see as i'm looking at this this says silver vein right here so there's another one here as well and just to say when we're digging out this area do make sure not to dig down so far that you can't get out because if like a wolf were to jump down there and get you or something else like that you want to be able to make a quick getaway so the way to do that is when you're down here if i come up to here and i mine this will go slightly higher if i mine again slightly higher so if you start to get too deep just make sure you mine so that you can get back out uh this, this might be some drakes over there i'm gonna have to be careful of those uh but just to show you guys then you want to go ahead and uh, mine away at the silver and eventually some silver ore will drop down again you are going to need an iron pickaxe in order to do this okay so here's what the silver ore is going to look like you'll see there it's got the symbol so this cannot be teleported so to get it back to your base you will need to either carry it or put it in a boat or something like that now one thing to say is when you think you're done with mining all the silver keep digging down and around the area because you could 
find a lot more. A lot of people have said to me in comments and things like that, uh, that they found tons more silver when they were digging down and looking around for it. So when you're back at your base, what you want to do is go ahead and go up to your smelter, put in your silver ore and your charcoal, and it's the normal smelting process. Silver will come out the front. And once you have your four silver, along with, of course, your uh, six wolf pelt and your wolf trophy, you'll be able to make the wolf fur cape. And then, of course, you'll be able to walk around the uh, mountain biome as much as you want without ever freezing. Just a quick note about the wolf fur cape, guys. You'll see right now I am wearing the wolf fur cape, but I'm also taking freezing damage and I am freezing. And the reason for that is because I'm also wet. So you do not want to go into one of these places when you're wet because the wolf fur cape will not work at that point. You'll see as well that when you get this message come up in chat and you feel cold, the wolf cape can also be equipped at this point to prevent the cold. And there we go. The cold effect has now gone away. Now, this is reasonably useful because the cold effect will reduce your stamina regen by 50%. Uh, sorry, stamina regen by 25% and reduce your health uh, regen by 50%. So kind of a useful thing if you're going around at night time. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you're enjoying my Valheim content in general. If you are, please do consider liking and subscribing. It really is greatly appreciated, guys. But for now, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Well, guys, I don't want to make a mountain out of a molehill, but I really think this is the coolest episode I have made yet. If you think so too, let me know down in the comments.